So I like to take a scale and can I make you dance to it? Can I make it funky? Can I make it swing like jazz? Can I make you head bang like rock or metal? Ready? For what? This one is gonna be fun. Okay, um... Does it have cake? More <laughs> cake? More cake. Yeah, more cake is coming. Okay. So, uh, for the beginning, uh, this exercise video is actually... came to my mind because I posted your exercise. The one you were doing that Derek taught you. Remember? And a lot of people started asking about the tabs and uh, can you play it slower? So uh, for the beginning, I want you to teach how you play it. And then I'm going to have the tabs on the screen. I'm going to have the tabs on the screen uh, so you can follow the tabs. But for now, <laughs> for now, you're going to teach them how to play it. Okay. 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 So we're going to start from G. Let's... G. Mm -hmm. Should I teach it with notes or tabs? Uh, just show them how you play it. Okay, that's good. Uh... I have no idea how you came up with this uh, time signature because this is the one that Derek Jones taught you, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so as far as I remember, he taught you a totally different thing. But mm -hmm. somehow, <laughs> somehow you ended up playing it like this because he t the one he taught you is in 4-4. But the one that you play right now, it's... Uh, it's basically 12-8 and 10-8 for some reason. Wait, what? Never mind. Uh, I even asked him to uh, send me... I asked him yesterday to record himself playing the same exercise that he taught you and send me the video so I can compare oh. with the one that you are playing it. So here's the video. I'm going to post it, the video here. All right, Hovac Ellen, let's see if this works. Hey, um, so the spider exercise, I'm going to start it on the ninth fret, the first finger, and you basically do a finger per fret. So I'm just going E string, A string, D string, G string. And then I'm going to go the, do the opposite and go this way. So then I'm going to go. So that's a G string, D string, A string, E string. So it's kind of this. See, it's important. Then you can split it up in groups of three. That's the one he showed. Yeah. And then the other two, three, set of three fingers. So it sounds like this. And you can split it up into three groups of two. So again, that's Sorry. All right, I hope you could see that. And I hope that works out. If you have any questions, let me know. All right, see you guys later, bye. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> that was Derek Jones, uh, an amazing bass player. Uh, and he plays for Cirque du Soleil uh, car show. 
And by the way, we're going to do a lesson with him on uh, December 27th. He's going to come to the studio and he's going to have a lesson with you on 27th. So that's going to be a fun one. Okay. So see, it's it's totally different, but I have no idea how, how you ended up playing 12-8 and 10-8. Which is, which is fine because it gave me a lot of ideas. Uh, and it's actually good that you did it that way. I'm going to ask you this way. What's more enjoyable, exercise or playing actually music? Playing actual music. Playing actual music? Well, it kind of depends on how you do the exercise. Exercise. Okay. Explain more. If you do a boring exercise. What's boring exercise? Maybe. What's the most boring exercise you can think of? really slow the same note over and over again the same notes over and over again like what kind of notes like a scale yeah yeah like a major scale minor minor well both both M major and minor scales yeah like regular major and minor scale yeah it can be boring yeah if you do it slow if you do it slow yeah you think so yeah, if it was a little faster, yeah, it would get less boring. <laughs> but if, what if you try make it more musical, make it sound like actual music? With ghost notes? Whatever you want. With, you could add ghost notes and you could put them in different orders. Okay, I'm going to ask you to play G major scale and then E minor scale. Let's try e it. Yeah, let's see if it's boring. Slow? Yeah. Okay, that's enough. Okay. Hold on. Now play the G major scale backwards. Good. Now play the E minor E minor scale backwards. That's not E minor. Find find E. Oh wait. Find find E. Where's where's your E? Mm-hmm. Wait, bro. Mm-hmm. Well, whatever is more comfortable for you, but over here. You yeah. Oh wait, over, over. here I can't. Uh -huh. E minor. Now let's do it one more time. Play G major scale backwards and then E minor scale backwards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it one, one more time, one last time. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> so you're saying that this is probably the most boring exercise you do it over and over again about like one hour or 30 minutes well nobody does one hour of g major scale <laughs> well, maybe some some people do uh, <laughs> maybe you should do but uh if you want to play it really fast but uh how can you make it more musical by playing the same notes in order yeah don't change the order but Okay. Maybe Do, put rhythm? Maybe. Let's try it. Okay. Keep going. Okay. What about E minor? Let's try. 
try to keep it in the rhythm in some kind of time signature. Okay. Uh, I want to show you a perfect example, a genius example of how a simple, the most simple major and minor scale can sound. And it, and it's not boring at all. So check this out. It's something you know. Yeah, it's something you are familiar with very well. Now check this out. Same scales. Oh. <laughs> How was that? Good. Was it boring? No. You see? Any any exercise can be boring if you let it be boring. You, but you can actually turn it into something enjoyable, something fun, and it's not going to be boring. This is actually something I learned from, uh, I didn't know about this because when I was starting, nobody like taught me anything. You know, I'm a self-taught guitar player, but uh, uh, I was practicing the old fashioned traditional way, like sitting down with the metronome and practicing slow and slow and slow. And it was boring, but uh, a few years ago, actually, I think it was in 2000. 10 or 9 Victor Wooten that's he told he taught me this he actually gave me this idea he taught me how to turn any kind of scale any kind of exercise into fun music you know uh, so you weren't you, completely subtle oh uh, yeah <laughs> you can tell that but, uh, uh, you want to talk to him yeah yeah all right, let's call him. Hello? Hello, hello? Hello, Hey, Vic. Hey. How you doing? Good. Hey, let me turn one thing off. On. Okay. How's everything? Things are good. Very, very good. It's a fun time now. The kids are coming home from college and all of that for the holidays. So it's a good family time. My brother-in-law is here. That's very good. Good. So yeah. uh, we were doing a lesson today, and today's topic is, I think it's one of your favorites. It's how to make the exercises more enjoyable so you don't get bored. Number one rule with practice is no smiling. <laughs> you can't laugh. Hey, you're breaking. See, you're breaking the rules already, Alan. Oh, hey, stop that. He is <laughs> yeah. No, no, you're you're uh, you know, you you got you're doing it right. You know, you're you're doing everything right, and the proof is is seeing how how uh, much Ellen is enjoying it. You know. Not so much how fast she's improving, um, because that's that's also important. But more important is is the enjoyment. Right. Because you know you can you can force someone into learning quickly, but Definitely. they may not enjoy. So we have to enjoy, but without smiling. <laughs> 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 well, I think Ellen, you're smart enough to know that I'm joking. 
the more smiling, the better, and especially when they're on it, honest smiles. You're you're really having fun. And a lot of us older people have forgotten how to do that. So he didn't know. Even when you make a mistake, Hovak hasn't forgotten. <laughs> your daddy hasn't forgotten. And I think you're doing a good job. Both of you are doing a good job at reminding the rest of us that we're supposed to be having fun at this. It's called playing music. It's not called working music. Right? We play the bass. We don't work the bass. For me, the one of the main things about practice for me is making practice music because our goal is to play music, especially when we're young. I haven't met many young people, including myself, that really enjoy practice. We enjoy playing. Right. And what I've seen Ellen do, her practice is mostly playing. Yeah. Right. I hear her playing with musicians. She's playing with the band rather than sitting there and just saying your ABCs over and over. Mm. Right. The cool thing is that even even Ellen at nine years old, she doesn't sit around saying the ABCs, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's done with. Right. You get better now by using the language. Mm -hmm. Right. And the, the goal of the alphabet, or, or I should say the beauty of the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, is using it out of order, not in order. Hmm. That's where the growth is. That's where the explore, exploration comes, is when you can mix up the letters. Music is the same. So in many cases, and I'm not saying this is bad, but in many cases we're told to just play scales over and over, and, and that's the way we practice. But that's as boring as it can get, right? The beauty and the music is in taking the scales and making music with it. Mm. Like we take the alphabet and we make words so that we can express ourselves. So I think Ellen is doing it right where what, what I see uh, is most of her practice is by playing. Right. She learns a bass line, but she plays it with the music. That's beautiful. Even science now is starting to prove that, that instead of practicing for hours and hours, practice in shorter periods. Because what science is showing is that the brain doesn't remember things until you stop doing it. Right. So like if you go to Disney World, you don't remember being at Disney World while you're there. <laughs> you remember this, right? You remember Disney World when you stop when you're not there. <laughs> so that's the way the brain works. When we're doing all this stuff, we have to take breaks, 30 minutes break, go do something else. Because the thing to remember, Ellen, is as much fun as playing bass is, you still have other parts of life that you enjoy. A lot of people think that I'm saying don't practice. <laughs> Um, but we need to practice, but I also think we need to play more right. in the same way. You didn't get good at talking by sitting in a room practicing <laughs> by doing it. Right? It's by doing it with people. Very mind blowing. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Well, you know, the, the other thing too, Hovak, you know, with you and, and your wife, uh, Ellen has music in her DNA, and that's a good thing, meaning whether she ever plays an instrument, she's got music in her, in her blood. So one of the things I, that I do with scales, there's a lot that I do with scales, but one of the things I do to make my scales fun is I, I try to see if, can I make a scale sound and feel funky I like remember. if bootsy played a scale i remember if that. bootsy remember. collins played a major scale he can make it funky can i make it funky <laughs> but i also like jazz i also like straight ahead jazz can i take that same scale and make it feel like a straight ahead swing song can I make it feel a, a major scale, feel like a metal song or a prog sound? Can I make it feel like a bluegrass song? 
If I can do that with a scale, with the same scale, it lets me know that I understand what these types of songs, I understand what these styles feel like. Because in many times, and you'll, under, you'll, you'll see this probably as you get older, Ellen, and start learning from different people, a lot of people teach styles of music by what notes to play. Right. A lot of the times when we study jazz, the first thing they teach us are harmony, chords, and things like that. That's really, really good stuff. But if you play that harmony in those chords and it doesn't feel right, it's not going to sound right. Mm -hmm. Styles of music in many cases are defined by how they feel, the rhythm that they play. So I like to take a scale and can I make you dance to it? Can I make it funky? Can I make it swing like jazz? Can I make you head bang like rock or metal? or whatever, can I play a scale that will make you cry? Yes, you can. You know, and make you feel it, yes. I can play a scale that makes you cry because it sounds so bad. <laughs> but that's not what I, that's not what I mean. <laughs> no, but there's a lot of fun you can have with scales. One day we'll get online uh, and, and we'll, we'll just share some ideas. I'll show you some things that I like to do and things that I used to practice. So keep doing what you're doing. You know, you, we're talking about practice, but whatever you're doing is working. So I wouldn't change it. <laughs> I wouldn't change, just keep it fun. I'm gonna go to good night's sleep and uh, I'm gonna dream that I was nine again. That's gonna be <laughs> very important. Now. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much, Vic. Appreciate it. Ellen, you give your mommy a hug for me, okay? Okay, every time. And your daddy too? <laughs> yes. Well, I'm happy to speak with you all. Likewise. Likewise. And, uh, Joyful. Anything I would say, you know, with what you're doing, it's working. Don't change it. Just keep exposing her to it. You know, the more you expose her to, the more she'll become. Yes, sir. You know? Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> all yes, right, man. man. Yes, man. <laughs> yeah. All right. You have some rest and I'll talk to you later. I love you all. Take care, okay? Bye. Bye. All right, peace. Bye bye. That was fun, right? <laughs> okay, so uh, back to the exercise. I want to try something really quick. When I posted the video of the exercise, someone actually gave me a really good idea uh they said it sounds like a dream theater riff <laughs> <laughs> so it, it gave me an idea to create something similar but before i play it i want you to play it uh with the metronome first okay just a metronome so you can get the feel of the tempo and everything and then I'll I'll just play the song the notes uh, the same exercise so what we're gonna do is gonna do uh, you're gonna play it four times from G mm. and then four times from A and then from B okay? okay and then we're gonna end with open E this oh yeah okay okay got it okay Let's try it. It's four clicks. It's okay, but you, you got the idea, right? 
So there's yeah. four, only four from each uh, note. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, mm. okay, so. Song? Yeah, yes. I'm gonna play the song. Music? Yeah, now you're gonna play with the music, which you never heard before. I never in a tournament. And. Maybe in the future. Just keep this in mind. No matter what happens, just keep going. Okay? Even if you do mistake, if you if even if you mess up, just keep going. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Cake is at the end, right? What is it? Cake is at the end, right? It's right there in the kitchen. <laughs> Full volume? Right. Play your best. Okay, relax your hands for a moment. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Okay, give me some good sound. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you see how simple exercise can become music? <laughs> okay, that's enough for today. <laughs> All right. Peace, everyone. <laughs>